So, Brocky, Gloucester Hartbury got their first taste of defeat in the PWR this season. Having had a couple of days to kind of reflect on the match, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, I think it's, it is, it's not nice to obviously lose, but I think in the grand scheme of things, it's probably quite a good way for us to learn. We know that there's a lot of learnings coming out of Saturday, so it's good, obviously, looking forward, but we have to take what we learnt from this weekend, basically. Yeah, and for yourself, nice to get on the, the score sheet early doors as well. Yeah, definitely nice to get on the score sheet. Got hats off to Maud for uh, helping me over the line, really. Yeah, and we went into that game not really having anything to like gain from from the league. You know, we'd already secured our semi-final. We'd already we already nailed on top spot. Whereas Saracens were still yet to secure their home semi, and they they also had the prospect of beating the defending champions. Do you, do you think that kind of came into it? That was a factor at all. Oh, definitely. I think um, it was obviously a real good battle, both sides of the ball. But first half, we let ourselves go. Obviously, with a 14-point deficit at half-time, it's, it's quite big to turn around. And obviously, to only lose by two points at the end of the day, it's, it gives us hope. And it obviously gives us a, we have a platform that we need to try and get better at. Obviously, with the learnings, too. Yeah, some of the tries we conceded, they, they felt quite soft. I, I suppose the, the good thing about that is it's, it's quite an easy fix going forward, isn't it? Definitely, there is some easy fixes. Obviously, we've got a few defensively, line speed, that's a key for one for us. We need to work on that. And then set piece around the part, line outs, that's another one. That, it's just areas that we can touch up on. And I think there probably, most probably was a lot of nerves going into Saturday, obviously, on the line with 16 from 16. But... In the grand scheme of things, yes, that would have been very nice, but we've only lost one game this season, can't really fault it. Yeah, just on the kind of unbeaten run, are we, are we too concerned about that as a squad at all, or are we not thinking about that too much? Not thinking about it too much. Obviously, it would have been very nice to go 16 from 16, but we've gone 15 out of 16. It's one better than last year, so fingers crossed next year we can do one better. Yeah, and just on the season as a whole, you know, yourself and, and also the team have had a hugely, hugely positive year. How, looking back at the last sort of seven, eight months, how are, you, how are you looking back at this? On a personal note, very positive. We've had a good season um, as a team. I think it's been tough. There has been dark times, definitely. We obviously played at home against Saracens and we had a lot of uh, Bucks girls playing and then to come away... Now, with every, all the internationals back in, it's hats off to everyone, really, across the whole um, board, both players and management. Yeah, and, and looking ahead to the, the semi-finals now, we've got, it's probably going to be one of Bristol or Exeter. We're massively excited going into that semi, aren't we? Oh, massively. Ho um, home semi and then obviously local derby as well, either way. So it's, yeah, it's, it's starting to bubble around here. We've obviously got five training sessions going into that so it's keeping switched on building up and then peaking going into that on the Sunday yeah we've got another chance to play at King's Home it's somewhere where we've got an excellent record this season what what kind of boost does it does it give the girls to, to play at King's Home oh it's massive now obviously we have the shed open as well I think it's even bigger it's they are the 16th person on the pitch so for us it's massive having support and obviously Gloucester fans all the men are finished, so it's nice to see a lot of them come across to us. It still gives them a bit of rugby, even going into the summer. So, Brilliant. Thanks, Bucky. No worries. Thank you.